Hey guys, welcome back to another Sugarscape video. So as someone who is self-confessed addicted to the internet, um, I've seen a lot of weird things on YouTube, but along with all the normal weird stuff like cats wearing suits and dogs doing the Macarena. And one of the weirdest things I've seen recently in the beauty field of things um, is this thing called clown contouring. It's basically girls who are pretty skilled with makeup um, turning their face into like a clown design, like classic triangle eyes and big pink cheeks and sort of crazy designs all over their face and then they somehow magically blend it and it transforms into perfect makeup and it's kind of amazing so for today's try the trends I'm gonna try it um I'm really not even sure what this is but I'm so intrigued by it that I really want to have a go you basically use like a really light color to do your highlight a darker color for your contour those kind of like coloured concealers, like the purple and the orange and the yellow to do whatever they're supposed to do. And then you use a sponge and you blend it all together and you hope for the best. I think the professionals have slightly more strategy when they do it, but I'm literally just going to be <laughs> dabbing at my face and seeing what happens really. I'm not optimistic. I'm fairly convinced this might be the worst try the trends yet. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and take all this off and let's give this a try. <laughs> This is not gonna happen. Most people seem to go for like a clown thing or um, a sugar skull, like a Day of the Dead type thing, but I figured I was gonna do something else. I thought I'd do a cat because that seems like something that I might be able to do and also just because I'm a crazy cat lady. So I've just put a quick all over base on because I figured you wouldn't just contour onto bare skin, right? I've probably done this wrong already. And I'm gonna start with like a super, super light concealer a la Kim Kardashian, Kylie Jenner. <laughs> That's wishful thinking, isn't it? Let's be honest. So I'm gonna go for this eye first and I'm gonna bring it all the way down here and try and make it slightly catty. I guess that would come down here like a cat. Mm, kind of. I'm not sure what cats I've been looking at, but there you go. So I think maybe I might give myself some ears. Is that a good idea? This could be a disaster, but I'm gonna go for this. This seems like somewhere that could maybe be highlighted. How can I make them look more like ears? So far I just look insane. Maybe if I just give myself some like... Okay, so to counteract this, I guess I should do some contour. So I'm gonna take this foundation, which is the Rimmel Match Perfection. It's literally about 10 shades too dark for me, so hopefully this will be quite a good contour shade. So if this was a normal contour, I guess I would go under here and seeing as I'm a cat let's go for a stripe and then down here I think you contour this don't you normally I can make my nose quite catty I suppose Ooh. well with bronzer you normally go up here as well don't you so seeing as it's a cat as well I should really have a there shouldn't I? So I get quite a red nose and I'm pretty sure that when you wear like proper colour correcting makeup you use green on redness. Am I making that up? I feel like I might be but it also feels like one of those things that you know somewhere in the depth of your mind. Um, I picked up this the other day which is from Makeup Academy and it's their Pro Base Prime and Conceal and it comes with all the sort of jazzy coloured concealers that you're supposed to use for various things. So yeah, red nose, I guess I should give myself a green cat nose to counteract it. I think the most important thing would be whiskers, uh, which I seem to have missed out. So maybe I'll use this, um, this middle colour here to create some kind of really light highlighting whiskers. <laughs> I'm looking less and less cat-like, I just look like a crazy woman covered in stripes really, don't I? So I guess I could use the purple for something. I'm not really sure what this is for, to be honest. But maybe around here? Why not? Little cat moustache. I feel like I'm focusing too much on the cat aspect of this and not enough on the actual, you know, contouring <laughs> thing, which is what it's actually supposed to be for. This is just the Max Factor cream blush. Um, I thought this would be like a nice bright colour. So let's give this one a go. I think this might be the last colour because I don't really have anything else to stick on my face. 
and I'll also rapidly running out of room on my face. So if I sort of do this in between my whiskers, has that worked? I don't really know. Kind of lost all sense of, you know, what I'm actually doing here. I'm just having way too much fun. <laughs> Maybe I should put some light underneath it. I'm pretty sure Kimmy K does that. I think that's all. I think I'm done. Meow. So here's my attempt at clown contouring. It's uh, very clumsy <laughs> and slightly confusing. Ears, nice highlighted ears, um, whiskers, a nose. So mine doesn't exactly look like a work of art like everybody else it seems to. And I think everybody else that normally does this is actually a makeup artist, so that would explain why. So to blend this all out, I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender Damp and hopefully this will all come together in a beautiful, flawless finish up for my makeup. Hands in the bucket if you think this is going to be a massive fail. I don't even know where to start. Maybe he mm, maybe here? Oh, I wasn't fast enough with my concealer. It's started to set. Blended side. Cat side. <laughs> Blended side. Cat side. Could you imagine doing this every single day? Probably multiple times a day. No thanks. So after a hell of a lot of blending, my face still looks like this. Um, I definitely got carried away with making myself look like a cat um, because everything had kind of set on my face. So I used a load of um, MAC Fix Plus spray to try and <laughs> make it wet again. It also doesn't help that um, I have quite a lot of baby hair. So up here, it just kind of looks like my face is really dirty. <laughs> I just look a bit grubby, really, don't I? But I'm gonna put the rest of my makeup on to try and balance it out. Maybe a bit of a better eyebrow will make this work a bit more. So now I've got my normal makeup on with it as well. I've put some eyes into my face rather than it just being two shrunken peas in the back of my head somewhere. I've put my eyebrows on to try and <laughs> balance my face out a bit and I've put my normal lip color on. So I feel like that's made me look slightly more human. There's just so much makeup on my face. I think you probably have to use a gardening trowel to locate a freckle anywhere on this face. It makes me look like I've got a rubber face because it's so sort of shiny and... Also, I think my cat design was a bad choice. <laughs> on reflection, I think maybe I should have gone for the more sensible clown approach um, because my cheeks are still very like whiskery. I think if you did it properly and you're really good at makeup and you've got a little bit of structure to your face rather than it just being like a dinner plate like mine, um, I think it would probably look amazing and you know the Kardashians are point and example of this. But for a mere mortal like myself, I'm not sure it's a great look. I think I look a little bit like an alien. I'm gonna go and wash my face eight times now. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to head over to Sugarscape for loads of awesome, amazing beautiness, as well as loads of celebrity news and other stuff that you will love. And now me and my big moon face must leave. Um, so thanks for watching and I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Oh my God, get this off my face. Ah.